Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Kiwi, and welcome to a bonus video. Today we are doing another Draw This In Your Style challenge that you guys voted on. This time it is from Howl's Moving Castle. So it's not wasting any time and hop right into the video. This screen cap seemed to be the most popular in the Draw This In Your Style challenge. And I also thought it was a good way to slowly ease into the series as well as ease into drawing guys and backgrounds. As you can see, it's just clouds, but I think it's both challenging and simple enough for me to get into the habit of finishing my art pieces without just a plain white paper background. When I was making the sketch, I realized that you can learn a lot of things from trying to recreate a piece. In this specific screen cap, the one thing I did take away was how the animators drew clothing around the wrist. And noticing that made me think that I might start implementing it in my own work. This would bring me into a long tangent about finding my style but I do want to create a separate video on that, so be sure to let me know if you'd like to see that video be made. When I started coloring the skin, I kind of went into my usual routine or habit. However, when I was adding in the shadow, I initially thought the color was too dark but later it does lighten up as I added more colors because of the contrast and I think adding in her dark hair helped to make that shadow color not appear as dark. Whenever I do these draw this in your style challenges, I do feel like the end result is not 100% my style. I feel like I tend to reference the image a lot when I'm coloring because I'm trying to learn how other artists decide where to shade something or if they use different colors. I think these challenges are a great place for experimenting and discovering new things to incorporate into your own style. I remember when I was coloring Sailor Moon, I used purple as the main shadow color for the first time and ever since then, I've been trying to incorporate it into some of my more recent artwork. I also like to study where the artist puts the shadow, since this is something that I am constantly learning and trying to improve on. When I got to coloring Howl, his colors are definitely not a perfect match. It was surprisingly difficult to find the right mauve purple for his jacket, but I guess it's not always possible to find an exact perfect match when matching colors of markers to digital colors. I think the piece really started to come together when I started coloring in the sky and shading in the clouds. I have a video on how to color smoothly with alcohol markers that I will link in the description and in the eye, but that's the technique that I used for coloring in the sky. However, because I did section off this piece, 
and I colored the sky in smaller areas, it was easier to make a smooth wash of marker, if that's the term. And to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing with the clouds, so the shadows do look a little bit random. I also used a colorless blender on top of the blue-gray marker to kind of fuzz it out and give it a fluffy look. I then outlined the whole thing in black using my Artline drawing pens, which will be listed and linked down below in the description, along with all the other materials. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this piece. I find the biggest change in these kind of challenges are the eyes because my eye style is definitely very different from the studio style. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and what I should draw next in this Draw This In Your Style series. I'm thinking of doing a screen cap from Beauty and the Beast where she's singing and the dandelions are floating in the air, but let me know if that's what you guys want to see. If you like alcohol marker related videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when I post new marker videos. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!